So why didn't anybody tell me that chat GPT can be used to manifest? Am I late to the party? <laughs> I'm back with new content. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I've been using chat GPT and mid journey to manifest amazing things. One thing happened to me about two days ago. And um, as of today, I'm going to share with you like the manifestation. Also, too, I was able to use Mid Journey to visualize in my head to put out the prompt into Mid Journey and actually have the Mid Journey help me to manifest something that was really scary, but was scary in a good way because it's actually proving that your images in your mind can be prompted on AI, namely ChatGPT. So, without further ado, I want to help you to understand that when you are speaking words over your life, when you are talking about your circumstances, when you're complaining, all of these things are creating mental images and feelings and emotions that are going to your subconscious mind. So it kind of makes sense that using chat GPT to create this beautiful story about your life would be no different that it could be something that you could read at the end of the night or you could um, use it throughout the day to remind you of the beautiful things that you're manifesting. So I'm going to just share and get right into how I've been using it. And now what I did is I told ChatGPT to tell me a beautiful story about how I manifested amazing social media presence by helping others with my spiritual gifts. And I also was able to make monetary gain with like ten thousand dollars a month that's always been my goal to make ten thousand dollars a month as of this last year i pretty much hit that goal every single month with the exception of a couple of months right and this month is no different i'm going to show you all on the screen in a in a few how i was able to manifest using the story that i generated in chat gpt so if you want to actually let's just go ahead and just put it on the screen right now so as you can see here i started with the prompt create a story about me manifesting an amazing social media presence helping others and using my spiritual gifts while also making ten thousand dollars a month you can use whatever other prompt you want to use with whatever you're creating the final outcome so my final outcome is ten thousand dollars a month helping other people and using my spiritual gifts so you decide what your final outcome is and then in front of that ask chat gpt to create a story so just a little bit i want to read once upon a time there was a gifted soul named danielle who always felt a deep connection to the spiritual world from an early age they could sense energy offer guidance and bring healing to others in ways that felt magical but they knew their gifts were meant to reach far beyond their immediate circle that's me all day i don't even know how chat gpt knew that that was me but that is definitely me all day and so now i'm going to scroll down so that you can read the rest of the story if you want to so it's going to be about another 30 seconds you could pause also and scroll down and read the, what the chat GPT spit out for me. And this is just me telling it to create a story about me manifesting an amazing social media presence, helping others, using my spiritual gifts, while also making $10,000 a month. Now, isn't that pretty cool? This is going to help you, I promise you. Now, what are you manifesting? Go to the end result or the wish fulfilled of anything that you're looking to manifest right now. And once you get that thing in your mind, I want you to go to chat GPT and prompt it to tell you an amazing, beautiful story about how I manifested and then fill in the blank. Please use it and tell me in the comment section if this is something that is working for you or if this is something that you would use in the future. Okay, so on to the next thing that I have been using that has generated me an amazing manifestation this is like a, a scary crazy manifestation that i was just like oh my goodness i cannot believe that i used mid journey which is an ai platform where you can create prompts visual in your mind or whatever you're creating in your mind you use it to prompt the ai system and then it spits back out the image in my membership which you can check down in the description box below if you want to know anything about joining my membership it's called the sweet spot we just finished up on a seven day mental diet reset where i was prompting 
them with these beautiful images about mirror work because that's one of the main things we were doing. And so as I'm creating, I'm focused on mirror work. I'm talking to myself in the mirror. I'm saying beautiful words of encouragement to myself. The one thing I kept saying to myself while I was creating these images that were about mirror work. So it was beautiful women looking in the mirror. But while I was creating this, I said, wouldn't it be really cool if I could meet a reflection of myself? You know, like maybe I was thinking maybe in a dream or something like that. It would be really cool to kind of like dream of this beautiful image of myself. So I kept intending that that could be something that would happen as I'm visually creating these images with a woman in the mirror. I'm also talking to myself in the mirror. In the process of me doing that, a lady stopped me dead in my tracks and started talking to me as if I were her sister-in-law. She comes up to me, she goes, hi, Danielle. She goes, what are you doing out here? And this is like in the evening and I'm walking to her. She's walking towards me and she swears I'm her sister-in-law, Danielle. My name is Danielle. And so as we're coming close to each other, I'm like, I don't know you, but my name is Danielle. And I'm like, okay, how does this woman know me? I don't know her. She goes, oh my goodness, you look just like my sister-in-law. I said, well, my name is Danielle, but I have a brother-in-law. I don't have a sister-in-law. I'm thinking, okay, nice lady, but um, I don't know you, but okay. She goes, no, you don't understand. You look just like her. And your name is Danielle too? She goes, am I, am I like in the twilight zone right now? I said, no, nah, I'm getting creeped out because how do we know each other? She shows me a picture of this young lady. I'm going to put her up on the screen here because we've since reached out to each other on Instagram. and She gave me permission to use her photo. She's also probably going to be watching. Hi, Danielle. Funny thing is, is that Danielle is a reflection of me because not only is she, is she in stature, we are like the same height pretty much. She's only like a couple of inches taller than me. I'm four foot 11. She's like five two. Her name is Danielle. We're close in stature. She lives in my neighborhood and she does social media content as well, except for she's more on the writing side. And so I was asking for a reflection of myself in a dream, not knowing that I met a physical representation of someone who looked just like me. We live in the same neighborhood, never saw each other. And so I'm saying all this to say is that this is going to prove to you that things that you're doing creatively in your life, like if you're creating something in mid journey, because you're creating it in a pure state where there's no resistance to it and you're just being lighthearted with it, you will start to see that become a part of your world. So this is a really cool and fun way to play around with AI, but most importantly, now that I saw it happen for me in real time, well, I'm going to be more intentional with the way that I create my prompts now. So that's another thing that I want you to consider. And also, so now that I've given you the things that I have been manifesting with using ChatGPT and MidJourney, just AI in general, the law of assumption is really cool because Neville Goddard has made it very clear that your imagination is creating your reality. But also, I want to make it very clear that more so than your your imagination, it's also to like the things that really light your heart up. So if there's something that you truly desire to have, do not ever let anybody tell you that you can't have it because you're going to find out very soon that as you focus on creating in um in chat gpt and ai the chat gpt is going to spit things out to you that's going to be like well damn i didn't even think about that it's like my story that it spit back out to me was so spot on that i was just like how did it know <laughs> how did it know and not only how did it know it's more so the words it's like it's like yes Sometimes you don't have the words to say exactly how you feel about something, but with the chat GPT, you're going to find that it's, it's like poetic the way that it spits it back out to you. If you tell it to give you a beautiful love story about manifesting your soulmate, because I'm not sure if it knows the term SP, I wouldn't put in specific person in the chat GPT because I did that one time and due to the negative connotation of it, it gave like a negative response. So if you're looking to manifest your specific person, Ask ChatGPT to spit out a beautiful romantic love story about how you manifested your soulmate and you and this person lived happily ever after with a beautiful home with kids. So 
now that you have the prompt from chat GPT, the story that it gives you, here's some ways, and I have three ways that I would use chat GPT to continue to saturate my subconscious mind. One, what I did is I recorded myself reading the story and I put it to a meditation track because I have, you know, I have the equipment to do that. I also do subliminals for myself and for clients. So I actually have now, as of recently, um, yesterday, I'm developing a subliminal track with my story on it as well. My story right now that I have is for business success and for me to create um, a bigger presence on social media because I have been transforming people's lives behind the scenes with my membership. And I just want to be able to access more people. So that's been my main focus is to build my, my reach and, you know, health and wellness and all those great things. But I just wanted to test one thing at a time. So definitely recording yourself reading it or putting it to a subliminal if you know how to do that. If you can't do the recording or the subliminal, I would actually just recommend reading it before you go to bed when you're in that drowsy state so that your subconscious mind can get used to hearing the story. And also too, if you want to even um, prompt chat, G chat GPT to give you affirmations to repeat, like if you, for those of you who love robotic affirming, even though you know it's not necessary to use robotic affirming to manifest, but if you do want to just do affirmations through chat GPT, you can still ask it to create affirmations around manifesting X, Y, Z. And it will still give you the affirmations as well. That's really what I want you to understand is that this life that we live in right now, consciousness is expanding. Right now in my group membership, The Sweet Spot, we are manifesting in a beautiful community of like-minded people. We have the tools each and every day because we're always communicating with each other. I'm always in there giving insights. I'm always doing workshops or on Zoom or doing some type of affirmation challenge or gratitude challenge because the consistency of reading your story through ChatGPT, the consistency of studying the law of assumption is going to greatly help you. It's gonna help you realize how powerful you are. And also the other things that I want you to consider doing is to find yourself a daily habit that you can create. Like find yourself a daily habit that you can create right now. The daily habit for me is to wake up every single day and before I get started with the world and anything is I spend five minutes of showing gratitude. Find you a daily habit that's going to benefit you. And beyond that, I feel like this is going to be very helpful. Let me know down in the comments. Help, help a sister out. Am I tripping? Chat GPT, I feel like it's going to be something that you're going to be able to use and benefit for yourself manifesting. You can also use um, Chat GPT to create amazing other prompts about things that you're looking to manifest. If you're a person who is on social media, like a creator, I found that also too, it's been helping me to get my ideas and my juices flowing with things. So do not sleep on AI. And this particular Sunday, I'm doing a live giveaway for 30K subscribers on this channel. I just wanna say thank you to each and every person who's given me well wishes, who's told me how amazing my meditations are or that they listen to my voice to fall asleep. That is the biggest compliment you could ever give a person who does voice work. Um, I do have a background in acting, so I understand the, the power of your voice. And so you guys just encourage me to keep going and keep doing more. And yeah, so stay tuned on the community tab. I'm going to give you guys more information in, in the next couple of days about what the stipulations are to win some of these yummy prizes that I'm going to be giving away. If you have loved this video, thumbs up, like, share, all that good stuff. Love you dearly. Have a good day. Bye.